Love you. Love you. <laughs> hey guys, uh, welcome to what is going to be the first of three Moxie roller skate makeover videos. Um, I've had these Clementine lollies for about a year and a half now, two years, something like that. They have traveled all over the world with me. Um, I love them deeply, but they need a facelift. So, um, I guess part one technically of my makeover was um, I wanted wider trucks. So I went through the process of getting some penny trucks, uh, sunlight plate, and mounting that to my lollies. Um, I didn't take video of that because, I don't know, power tools and being busy couldn't do it. Um, but today I'm gonna show you how to clean your suede moxie lollies or jack boots um, or any suede boot. Uh, what you're gonna need, let me show you. You're going to need suede cleaner. Um, I got Angelou's. Uh, also, there's a really great tutorial over at Queer Girl Straight Skates um, on how to clean your skates. And she tested out both the Angelou's and the uh, Magic Eraser. And she said this was, the, this was the jam, so this is what we're going with. So some Angelou's, a brush. Um, I also am bringing in some reinforcements with this really intense gross scrubber brush that I use for um, craft projects. And uh, you're also gonna need your skate tool. Uh, to take these bad boys apart and get to cleaning. So let's get into it. All right, first things first. Take off your laces and any other accessories that you might have, including my lovely roller stuff fringe. These will have to come off as well. So get those bad boys off. Begin time lapse. is off. I've got my fringe off and I'm ready to start cleaning these skates. So the first thing you want to do, my brush. There's my brush. First thing you want to do is just brush off the initial dirt. Just anything that might be sitting on the surface of the boot. Just knock all of that off. Alright, then take your Angelou's. This is suede cleaner, but you can also use it on leather, buck, rubber, linen, Gore-Tex, nylon, satin, canvas, plastic, and vinyl. So, you probably could use this, this, these. You could probably use this to clean any skate. Um, it's also meant for cleaning sneakers and boots and all kinds of good stuff so multi-purpose love it all right so oh no my bowl's not really big enough that was a mistake all right so we're gonna go in and just start scrubbing this in a back and forth motion uh, if you want to see other techniques for cleaning suede um, for your boots. A great search on YouTube is just doing, um, searching like suede cleaners. There's a lot of people out there who like restore Uggs and Timberlands and all kinds of uh, suede and leather boots and you can learn a lot of helpful tips and tricks from them that apply to your moxies or whatever skates you have. I'm just gonna keep working this. Ooh, um, one pro tip. If you guys get these um, Derby Sparks laces and you get the glittery ones, not the matte ones, not the normal ones, I don't know about those, but 
Um, I got these glittery ones. I absolutely love them. They're super strong. I've had them for almost two years and they're just starting to fray in places. So they're great, but one thing I would watch out for if you, if you order a pair of these, you have a pair of these, is um, what they will do to the dye of your skate. Um, the dye from these laces wear off onto your skate. And I'm gonna scrub it, but I'm gonna guarantee you that this, this is not gonna come out. The blue that's on here um, is on there for good. So just a pro tip, I was a little sad whenever I started using these laces and they dyed my skate, um, which you can't really see it because it go. It's in the spot where your um, where your your laces cover it. Um, but you know, the, my tongue my tongue is also all blue on my skate, so you do kind of see that um, more often, and it's a little bit of a bummer. So if you're feeling really precious about your skates, um, be careful with the the uh, Derby Spark glitter laces they'll get you. They'll make you sad. You're not careful. Um, but I feel like if you did a lighter color, like the gold ones or like the silvery ones, you wouldn't, probably wouldn't get anything wearing off on them. So just a tip. Live and learn. After you've scrubbed your skate thoroughly, this whole thing is pretty saturated with soap. Um, take a clean cloth and just wipe it down. Hopefully some of that dirt will come off. E. So for my second skate, I think I'm gonna switch from this softer brush to this one that has a little bit tougher of bristles and just see if it gives me a better result with the cleaning, so. Cleaner. Brush. Let's do this. I'm noticing with this brush, it's not um, like foaming up at all and getting all frothy the way it was with the other brush, so that might be a sign that this is not ideal. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll go back over it with this guy. Ooh. There's that lather. That's it. Now that I've got my skates clean, the next thing I'm gonna do is go through and clean my roller stuff, tassels, my, my fringe. Um, these aren't super dirty. Uh, I've had them on my skates for over a year and this is only as dirty as they've gotten and I fall like a lot. So pretty impressed with that. They've held up super, super well. Um, taking them off of my skates was not an easy task. Um, and putting them back on is gonna be a little bit challenging, but we're gonna make it work. Um, also, the great thing about having these uh, these little fringe guys is that I can use the back side of them that no one's gonna see as uh, my testing strip for my dye to make sure that it's gonna turn out the color I want it to. Um, but we'll get into that more in the next video when I dye these puppies. So. Here we go. We're just gonna clean these um, the exact same way that you would clean the skate, because it's the same material. So a little bit of Angelou's suede cleaner. My brush. And we're just gonna... if you're sitting around in quarantine and you're really bored you might get tempted you know to play with your look and I think instead of cutting or dyeing your hair you should dye your skates um, but if you're really feeling those quarantine bangs just get some roller stuff fringe just 
put it right on. Boom. Quarantine bangs. With less crying. Less crying than real bangs, for sure. All right, so uh, I have got my skates scrubbed down. They look a little bit better. Um, this side definitely looks nice and orange, but this side, the insides are never as dirty as the outsides. Um, so now I'm gonna let these dry completely. And after they've dried completely, I'll take this brush again and go over the nubuck, and that'll kind of like raise all the little, the little bits of the suede and help keep it fluffy and pretty. And hopefully uh, that all of that will make them ready to receive the dye. They're gonna die, baby. So, stay tuned.